Railroads just don't start up or convert over from diesel to electric very often. California has some ambitious goals to lower greenhouse gases, and Caltrain's effort to transition into an electrified train network has really made a big step towards that. This corridor actually started over 160 years ago. President Lincoln was in the White House, so it has a long history of transporting people, bringing communities together. And for the future, we wanted a sustainable corridor along with better time, end-to-end -end time, providing better service, more passenger comfort. So as part of all of that, the system from basically Tamian to Fourth and King or San Francisco, it's being electrified. So there won't be running any diesel locomotives any longer between San Jose and San Francisco. The efficiency of these trains, they accelerate faster, they decelerate faster, so that they're able to provide an enhanced service that way. They can travel that same distance in a shorter amount of time. It's a state-of-the-art vehicle. It's a much smoother ride. You can feel the difference. It's quieter inside the train as well. You got capacity to do certain things, like the bike cars. That was one of the things that everybody was pushing for. You've got the ramps that are set up so that persons that are needing assistance in wheelchairs, so they had that before, it's just a little easier to do today. They have the charging ports underneath every seat. Uh, some of the other features that we've got are CCTV on these things, so we can view from all different locations. There's public Wi-Fi on the train, so people can stream video or do emails or whatever they want to do. We've got passenger counting systems. We've got passenger information systems that are all state-of-the-art as well. Obviously, one of the biggest benefits is a sustainable system. You know, it is electric system going from diesel to electric. It is a lot quieter. We have better run times. It is going to bring our community together. They're very excited to start riding the system. Uh, you know, going to a baseball game, going to uh, work, taking their kids to a soccer game. You know, everyday things, but in a much, much better system and it's sustainable. The system has the same ridership as a, you would on a lane of a Highway 101. High-speed rail will use this corridor in the future. In fact, if this corridor wasn't being electrified, high-speed rail would have no way of getting to downtown San Francisco. So this is a vital part of the overall high-speed rail corridor. One of the unique things we brought to uh, bear on this project was a shared risk pool where both uh, Caltrain, the owner, and the contractor had a vested interest to jointly manage the project and the risk. Uh, in fact, over 30% of what would have been a change order has been resolved without it being a commercial issue. And also partnering, collaborating with the contractor, with the community, with the rest of our uh, team members and our funding partners. And we've delivered on those commitments. Some of the things that HNTB was able to bring is the fact that we had this past experience. We had lessons learned from these other projects. We knew what worked, what didn't work. We also had ideas about you know, how things needed to be structured to help facilitate this. We really delivered on our commitment to our client and currently we're scheduled to start revenue service on September 21st of uh, 2024.